once I had a secret love that lived within the heart of me. All oh, too soon, that secret love became impatient to be free. So I told a friendly star the way the dreamers often do. We recorded the album at Pug House Studios with Nico. And it was just perfect because he was able to set up the band in a way that kept the sound really real and very authentic, but at the same time very intimate, which is exactly what I wanted. I chose to surround myself with such established and experienced musicians because I knew they'd bring so much to the recording. I knew they'd bring unique things themselves but then as a team putting them all together I think it created something really special and I'm so glad that they all agreed to be a part of this project. The rhythm section on the album features Hugh Blaine's, Phil Rex and Sam Bates. Ross Irwin and Phil Noy, the horn section, and we've also got three very special guests on top of that. Heaven, I'm in heaven. We've got James McCauley, who is an incredible trombone player and a great friend of mine. Ben Edgar, who is one of the most sought after guitarists in the whole country. And we also have Australian jazz royalty Graham Lyle appearing on two tracks. I'm in heaven and the cares that hung around me through I'd always liked the idea of making an album, but it wasn't until I received the 2014 Generations in Jazz Vocal Scholarship that I realised I could actually make it happen. Oh, I'd love to climb a mountain and to reach the highest peak, but it doesn't thrill me half as much as it's cheap, cheap. Oh, I'd love to go out fishing in a river or a creek, but I don't enjoy it half as much as it's cheap. My concept for the album is to be a young voice for old music, so it's a bit of a mashup of the old and the new. I've always been drawn to the music of the 1930s and the 1940s. Even as a kid, I was listening to Danny Kaye and the Andrew Sisters and Nat King Cole and Ella Fitzgerald. There are eight standards that I'm sure you'll recognise, and there's two originals on it. We aim to create a really polished studio sound but at the same time, we really wanted to capture the excitement and, and the spontaneity of a live gig. I find improvising so special because you're spontaneously creating something completely unique, while at the same time, you're collaborating with a whole group of musicians and bouncing off each other. It's been so great having Phil Rex involved in so many different aspects of the album. He's helped me produce the whole thing, he's playing on it, and he's even mixing and mastering it. I'd like to say thanks to all the guys who played on this album, to Nico from Pug House Studios, to Paper Mache Studios, and to everyone else who's been a part of the process. It's been amazing having you guys on board, and thank you so much for helping me create my vision. It's been a really amazing process creating this album and I'm so proud of how it's turned out and I really hope you enjoy it.